Noob Noob, if all these shows get canceled, our reviews will kill you. We'll be on HBO Max. How's that, Z? 12 Dates of Christmas, About Last Night, Aquaman, King of Atlantis, Close Enough, Ellen's Next Great Designer, Esme and Roy, The Fungies, Generation Hustle, Generation, Infinity Train, Little Ellen, My Mom, Your Dad, Odo, Ravi Patel's Pursuit of Happiness, Summer Camp Island, The Not Too Late Show with Elmo. If all those shows get canceled, our reviews will kill you. We'll be on HBO Max. Hooray! That's right, new noob. You and I could be on HBO Max and bathe in the glory as 36 shows were canceled. All the shows. But we're specifically talking about Young Bust Ass. Yes. Young Just Ass. DC shows. The One of the 47 DC shows that were canceled. This one's important to us because we were watching it and I made some reviews of it. It will not return for season five because season three and four were woke as hell. Oh boy. That's right. Get woke or broke, Berber. Oh my gosh. They're so big. Are they? Are they're they so actually big? big? No. They're not big. Because they're young and ripe and tiny. People were really excited. Like Young Justice is one of those like cult classics. The first two seasons are extremely complex and and extremely and very interesting. People like them very much. It's all about the sidekicks as they be like grow into their own group of Justice League. But then they return for Young Justice uh, third season, The Outsiders. So basically, the show started in like 2012 and then got canceled in 2013. And you had uh, Robin, who was Jesse McCartney, a Kid Flash by Jason Spizak. Aqualad, voiced by Carrie Payton. Do you know who that is? Uh, he is in The Walking Dead. That is right. Famous, famous people. Well, once they had very complex storylines, the show was canceled in 2013, but brought back in 2019 with The Outsiders. Just gayer. Oh, well, this particular article says, uh, I think it says somewhere, that this was an LGBTQ IRS, 87,000 IRS Q plus agents. Squared. Yes, that's who it represents, the 87,000 plus IRS agents plus the alphabet community. I like IRS agents. Absolutely, who doesn't? But Wesley they, Snipes. <laughs> Wesley Snipes. And Lauren Hill. She does not like 87,000. Oh, oof. Mm, brutal. So HBO Max was, uh, yeah, even though the showrunner was like, yeah, we got another season, they're like, nah, bruh. I'm pretty sure the ratings weren't very good. And if I, f- I forget if I told you about season three and four, I feel like I did. And it was very confusing. Uh, well, the, se- the last season, if you recall, I told you about, it was a, about a woman's struggle, a superhero struggle about wearing her hijab, whether or not she should, what? even though she was a dead zombie, she was not the same, what? basically a, a father box. I think a father box took, <laughs> took control of a dead person's body who happened to be a Muslim. And she was very concerned whether or not she should wear her hijab. That was one plot line. That is super dumb. And then another plot line was whether or not... Um, <laughs> Rocket, who's some sort of Justice Leaguer, she had an autistic child and how she should handle the autistic child after she went into outer space and abandoned her autistic child. She needed to learn how to deal with him by learning about another autistic adult. (laughs) What? That's another plot line. Are you not intrigued by that? Mm, I've already lost interest before you started speaking. What about the non-binary relationship between... Uh, I'm, I'm done. Go- <laughs> I'm going to say it was two bugs. Hard pass. <laughs> I, I forget I forget what the bugs' names were. Nope. Don't Come- need them. <laughs> you don't need their names? Don't want them. 
<laughs> Come on, it was like, uh, oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot who this was. It's like Beetle Beetle, and it's like Beetle Beetle, Beetle Beetle. I love Beetle Beetle. The Blue Beetle? Beetle? No, it wasn't Blue Beetle. Actually, I enjoyed, in fact, the Blue Beetle storyline from season two, I enjoyed. And I think he's a really good character, and I hope that, I know they're making a movie about it. I'm, I'm all about it. I think that the Blue Beetle... Sounds like a, a pretty cool character. He like inherits this like scarab thing that gives him superpowers. He's this Hispanic kid. Like I think it's actually pretty cool. I'm I'm okay with that. But outsiders pushed it way too far. No, oh my. In God. fact, like the du- this du- this dude who's the prince of some weird country falls in love with the father box girl, and she's like, "I'm not binary. I'm a father box." What? But I in- I inherited the body of a Muslim girl. I may look like a girl, but I'm non-binary. Oh, my God. Yeah, these things are all... It's pretty awesome. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't re- Forager. <laughs> That's the name of the beetle. So all there's these bug things, and they're called foragers. But forager is also forager. So there's, a, I guess, a male forager and a female forager, and they forager is in love with forager. Forager, would you love to be Forager with Forager, me? Forager. No. <laughs> That's how bad the show got. Zatanna was in it, which I'm all about Zatanna. That, like, she's she's like a magician wearing, like, a, a one-piece with stockings and a hat. Okay. Yeah, I'm all, she can pull rabbits out of my hat any day. You don't oh, know who Zatanna is? Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, I do. She's, yeah. She's, is she hot? She's Hot for an animated girl. Yeah, that's right. So they had her in it, but they had to make her like, I don't know. I can't even explain it. She's a man. <laughs> she transitioned. Into she a man. is. I don't know what she did. <laughs> she transgendered. Oh, my God. Well, apparently that's still on. But the super besides this is all part of the Batgirl culling. As they called out Batgirl, they also killed the Supergirl project. The Wonder Twins project, which sounds like a terrible idea. No one wants to see the the Wonder Twins unless they're incestuous. If it was step, it what, was, what was maybe that? if they were step, if they were step brother and sister, people there would we watch go. that. Yeah, poor that's would a win. Definitely sanction that. Wonder Twins, step brothers. What about the uh, shit sisters. that distracted me? <laughs> uh, Birds of Prey. Nope. With Journey Smollett. Shit. That's still no, they're, they're on. They're still but doing that. that. Yeah, they're still doing no, that. No, that's going to get canceled. There's no, no the way. The Kevin Smith Cuck animated thing. Oh, right? the Adventures that of something or other. Yeah, yeah, that got killed. Yeah, piece Kevin Smith. Anything shit. Kevin Smith, he's a liar, so no one wants to listen to him a anymore. Piece of shit, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's a straight up liar. Uh, Birds of Prey with Black Canary Focus, uh, Journey Smollett. I mean, I like Journey Smollett. We just watched her in Spiderhead, but. I'm not going to watch a Black Canary focus spinoff. Not interested. They need to hire her brother, Juice Smollett. He, yes. Uh, Green Lantern series, which is headed by Greg Berlanti. I don't know if you're excited about that. Super gay. (laughs) Maybe. He's quite literally super gay. Uh, There's a little sus about him. Uh, I wonder if he has given anyone monkeypox. Oh, my God. Uh, James Gunn says he's going to move forward with season two of Peacemaker. They better move forward with that. They better have a fucking the same dance or a better dance. We're we're waiting for the step up dance. We're waiting for Noob Noob to do the dance. Yeah. And then we have the Blue Beetle, which apparently survived the cut. That has the kid from Zolo something. That kid's awesome, though. The kid He's from cool. Karate like Kid. Him. Yeah, Cobra I Kai. I think that kid will be awesome. Yeah, from Cobra Kai. Yeah, I like him. That kid will be great. I, I would like love him. to see him as the Blue Beetle. I think yeah. he's really authentic. Like, f- the kid's a good actor. I'm a fan of him. Yeah. But they have not yet revealed the 10-year plan. When they reveal it, we'll be here first. Be sure to check that out as we do other things. We have a full-length audio podcast, which you can catch on Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, all those great places and more. We live stream Friday night, 7.30 p.m. We know it's a struggle to get there, but if you want to join the fun, join the fun. You have a chance to win things like Doctor Strange and Sonic 2 and digital giveaways. We got all sorts of good stuff there. Be sure to check that out because if you do not like and subscribe right now, and I mean right now, Noob Noob may do this. 
I will cosplay as Kevin Smith and then hold you down and go ass to mouth without your permission. Just like in Clerks 2. Because in the heat of the moment... Did that happen in Clerks 2? It's too? okay to go ass to mouth. ATM. Yeah. I don't remember that happening. I'll make a withdrawal and a deposit. I do not remember any of those things happening. Oh my God, that's noise. That is noise. It, it was a reference. It didn't happen visually, but it happened. Oh, but it happened in It happened mind. mentally. You'll make it happen. Yes. Make it happen, Captain. I will. That and more, but uh, be sure to catch all this from Our Reviews Will Kill You because we are on to the next one. Bye.